my greetings to all of you uh, welcome to csat classes by shubhra ranjan so i want to discuss uh, percentages today right so i understand that percentages are really important in our life in our life also and uh, as far as topic is concerned that also why because you know ek to i understand that a lot of data questions come so data interpretation questions would generally be from this topic percentages so first is data interpretation questions and second i realize quant questions would also come yeah quant questions would also come so on a whole i realize that if you are appearing for upsc or any state uh, pcs exam percentage topic is really really important ha huh? and in life also percentages are really important i realize you have always been judged by how much percentage you have scored in 10th class 12th class but to my disbelief most of you are not comfortable with percentages so what what i have created is that uh, i say that uh, i have created guru mantras for percentages specifically for percentages so you can take it as guru mantra 1 so i hope you would love it right so what exactly is guru mantra 1 guru mantra 1 is a relation a ah, relationship <laughs> everyone wants to talk about relationship but this relationship is not other relationship relationship between percentage and ratios right this is what exactly is this relationship guru mantra 1 so listen since our childhood you know we have been like encouraged to score score full out of full and i remember most of you would have this experience of scoring full marks right so teacher used to write 25 out of 25 see it was a ratio written right and uh, you realize you got 100% marks so without knowing you realize see 25 by 25 is equivalent to 1 and 1 is equivalent to 100% right one is equivalent to 100% i don't know how many of you paid attention to this right but now let's let's create something see this now see i say one corresponds to 100% and 1 by 2 corresponds to 50% 1 by 3 corresponds to 33.33% 1 by 4 25 percent. So many of the students would ask me, sir, why should we remember it? I'll come to that as well, right? So kindly mark it, kindly note it, right? One by five is 20 percent. One by six is 16.67 percent. One by seven is 14.28 percent. One by eight is 12.5 percent. One by nine is eleven point eleven percent. One by ten is ten percent. You just need one by ten, not beyond one by ten. But you know you can write it if you want to. It is really really important. See, one by eleven, nine point zero nine percent. One by twelve, eight point three three percent. Right. One by thirteen comes out to be seven point six nine percent, or we write it as seven point seven percent also, right? One by fourteen, seven point one four percent. If you want to write one by fifteen, this goes on and on and on. Six point six six percent. One by sixteen, six point two five percent. I think not more than this is required because we just have to relate it. We don't have to, you know. yes you have to sometimes remember things so if you can make a note of this really good for you 1 by 13 is 7.7 or 7.69% also right and uh, see this this 1 by 60 1 by 6 is 16.67% and we write it as 16 2 by 3% as well all right this 1 by 3 we write it as 33.33% is written as 33 1 by 3% as well So have that vision, you know, one by fifteen is sixteen, two by three percent, right? So can we written like this? So kindly make a note of it. The point over here is not to you know only remember it, but to relate it as well, all right? Because.
see you have to relate it with whatever they are asking in your competitive exam so most of the time i realize that students may know it but they don't know the relation right so let's talk about the relation now please pay attention right this is something really good i hope you would love it right this is one percentage this is one percentage you see a lot of time 37.5 percent of 8064 so 37.5 percent of 8064 so i'm marking it at one right now most of the students would keep on doing this see what now you would cancel off and all that stuff so you realize you would be losing time as well as you would be wasting your space no don't do it come on see this is something they give you relative percentages generally they give you relative percentages so please pay attention what is 12.5 percent in terms of fraction it is 1 by 8 12.5 percent is 1 by 8 multiply multiply this by 3 see 12 threes are 36 huh? and 0. 0.5 threes are 1.5 36 plus 1.5 is 37.5 so what is 37.5 percent three eighths of a number all right so please whenever you are given percentages absolutely amazing thing is they want you to convert it into fraction right so this is actually three eighth of 8064 you cancel it 1008 comes out to be 3024 see how easily you can sort it out how easily you can sort it out right so please 12.5 percent 1 by 8 37.5 percent 3 by 8 so i say multiply by 3 if i multiply this by 5 so 12 5 is a 60 and 0.55 is a 2.5 62.5 percent you would find it somewhere believe me you would be appearing for a lot of exams you would need these percentages you would need these percentages i can assure you that and multiply by seven multiply by seven so again 12 sevens are 84 so it is 87.5 percent is seven by eight mark these three percentages 37.5 62.5 87.5 huh I hope this is clear now. Huh? So see, these are the things that have been coming in your exam. And you have been doing it another way. 87.5% is 87.5 upon 100. You don't need to do that. Clear? Again, next. Just a, just a simple clarity. Now I say, what is 55.5% of 8181? This is one percentage which comes many a times I have seen it. So generally students should do sir 55.55 upon 100 into 8181 sir 55.55555 uh, upon 10000 into 8181. Abhi again you are stuck. Either you cancel it right and do it. And you know the worst part is ye or ye to cancel in your right now not able to cancel it and see the space I have utilized so <clears throat> again I would say don't do that they generally genuinely you know have a relative percentages they are going to ask so this is point number two what is 11.11 percent one ninth of a number huh 11.11 percent one ninth of a number I hope you got it now huh so what would be 22.22 percent two ninth of a number what would be 44.44 percent 4 by 9 of a number right what would be 55.55 percent of a number multiply this by 5 it is 5 by 9th of a number right 77.77 would be 7 9th of a number huh 88.88 percent would be 8 by 9th of a number right so now you can directly write it as 5 upon 9 times 8181 8, 1, huh? cancel 909 your answer would actually be 4545 4, 5. see this that is the reason you know you should always understand the relative percentage you know you have to 
actually connect percentage with a fraction and you would easily start getting your answers and if you have appeared for some competitive exam you would actually be knowing it that you know this connection is really really important so one more example <coughs> i would create see this uh, <coughs> i say so point number 3 you can write i say what is uh, 54.54 percent of 8 8 or or make it uh, you know uh, 7777 seven, seven, seven. let let it be like 7777 seven, seven, seven. right so again 54.54 .54. we call it a uh, reflection you know 54 reflected dot 54 so this this is something a multiple of 9 dot a multiple of 9 so see guys what is 1 by 11 9.09 percent right so this is where the play begins right what would be 2 by 11 18.18 percent what would be 3 by 11 27.27 percent what would be 4 by 11 right 36.36 percent reflection of a multiple of 9 we call it reflection of a multiple of 9 and so on 5 by 11 45.45 percent huh 6 by 11 54.54 percent and so on right so you realize that this is what 6 by 11 6 upon 11 times 7777 seven, seven, seven. cancel 707 huh? 4242 is your answer so guru mantra 1 generally relates you know percentages with ratios right so there are three four more guru mantras for percentages and believe me once you know you are done with these guru mantras your percentages would be absolutely good and and see you know we have always been you know judged with percentages how many percentage marks did you get in 10th class 12th class i still remember you know when you we used to go to family functions so you know a topper whose percentage would be awesome would be served the food first right <laughs> yes i have also seen that kind of a path ahead. but this logic of percentages is not uh, available anywhere so I'm not done with Guru Mantra 1. This is just a snapshot of Guru Mantra 1. Come join the classes, you know, see and feel, you know, how we can relate uh, percentages with fractions. Then Guru Mantra 2 would actually be increase or decrease of fraction. Guru Mantra 3 would actually be approximation of fraction. And Guru Mantra 4 would actually be, you know, consecutive increase or decrease of, uh, you know, uh, percentages. So it would be absolute fun to you know join these classes you would love it this is really really practical way of understanding uh, quantitative aptitude right thank you so much uh, my greetings to all of you i hope you are uh, safe and healthy and enjoying the classes thank you